All right, it's 845. We'll call this uh, March 1st in the Union of Brown County Commission to order. Dennis, you choose the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> I'm on the agenda for the least and approval of the agenda. Move. Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Uh, one agenda item this morning is Mr. Rogers, right away after the Northern Valley Staffing and Department Update. Good morning. Good morning. You're on time. Woo! We'll see if we can keep it that way. I didn't see if they gave me two or three minutes today. We'll see. But you have um, nine. Oh, no, holy cow! <laughs> um, the first is right away occupancy. If you remember Northern Valley's project from last year, where they were just updating the copper to fiber and and all that broadband. I guess is pro proper Doing terminology. It zones, yeah. And and so this all this is is a continuation. It's just stuff they didn't. Uh, you know, I can't remember at the start of that if that was a multiple year project and. Um, so I don't know if we're going to be doing more of the, you know, he'll bring me in another six if, if they're going to continue to update it. But uh, so if it's okay with Kathy, these are all kind of the, for the same company, same contractor, and sort of the same geographical area. I'll show you where it is, but if it's okay with her, you can just do it with one motion because it's all tied sure, together. why not? Thank you. So this is, like I said, and, and Mike, I, you probably noticed that people were out and around the last year and, yeah. So I'll just go through these all. This one, really some, some of our prime roads. Uh, this is on 25 down here, that mile right there. Just going, going off of 16 to the houses and back out. So that's that one. And this one is on road 16. Same area for stretch for that. So it's coming out the south or the east west road of Strat and going down to 25 where it'll hook up with the one I just showed you. <coughs> hey Russ. This one's for the mile going into Strat right here. Look at my broken. Well, it's kinda on how our document works. You know, it it we could probably change that a little bit and make it a little more, but they're all technically different road segments, so they send me in a different. This one is, yeah, this is awesome. I've never did, never got a right-of-way occupancy on this, or 16B. So this mile right here, 16B, that's down below the Scandinavian Church where the bridge is, the old waterworks bridge is down there. Right down into the Jim River. Yeah, so, but on the, or I'm pointing the wrong way, on the but side. on the east side. We only have about <coughs> half a mile in there that's east of the river. They put fiber all the way out there on this one. Cool. Yeah, this I think all this is existing copper. Right. And they're just as far as I know. Sure. And then this this one is for twenty three. That's four oh six. So this is everything from stretch to this basically this blue line. From Strat all the way over here. So no more buffering for Netflix and online sales. Hopefully. <laughs> I was literally on the tail end in Groton because of where I live. Uh -huh. And I just, you know, well, it works, it doesn't work, it's good, sometimes whatever, I never worried about it. And then they called me up and said, yeah, we're updating everything, you know, you'll see a big improvement because <laughs> your stuff's from like even before the last two updates. Uh -huh. and so truly was two cups and a string, huh? Yeah, it was. And then this one is on 18. Yeah, this one, I caught such a metal block down here. These first two miles and then into Schleis and, uh, and then one mile down here for some reason. But those are all on 18. So I'd recommend them all for approval, it's just a continuation of what they were doing last year. Entertain a motion? Move it. Second. Motion and a second, and we'll go to discussion. Favor signal probably saying aye. 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 Well, same side, motion carries. Thank you. 
Um, I want to talk a little bit about staffing. This isn't really personnel per se. It's not about specific people. It's about kind of structural staffing at the highway department. Um, this is this is more of an irritation probably for me than anybody. And when I when I mentioned it to Kathy last week, she kind of was play, placed my my concern is it kind of framed it as something that wasn't that big a deal, and that's fine. I it's just how I am, okay? Um, but when in Elisa's story two weeks ago, and, and I don't, you guys know how involved I am with the union thing, whatever. But there was a quote in there from one of the county employees saying that um, we're desperately looking for a mechanic. I might be paraphrasing, but it was something like that. Well, the, my first reaction was, oh, I didn't know that. And my second, <laughs> my second reaction was the last two guys that I interviewed for that position that were qualified and uh, and I told them I'm not going to fill it. I'm hoping they didn't read the paper because uh -huh. now I'm lying to them. So that's, call this petty, call it a, a personality defect by me, but that's why I just want to say a couple things about that. Um, when I started in 2000, we had 34 guys at the highway department. There was two mechanics, a shop foreman, and a parts guy in the shop, so like four guys. The parts guy at that time was going through a long, long, long-term medical deal and eventually went on disability and so on and so forth. When I left at the end of 07, we had 21 guys. We still had two, one and one in the shop. Same, same manning. Mm -hmm. Never laid anybody off. Always been attrition or, or termination or something. With I, I don't, we've never laid anybody off ever. So I was gone for seven years. Can't even speak to what happened because I had nothing to do with it. And people have different ways of doing different tasks. So when I came back in 2014, we had 35 guys. Actually, my second day here, I think I hired a couple mechanics before I really knew what I was doing. So for a while there, we actually had four mechanics and a shop foreman. Five FTE in the frickin' shop with, you know, 30 guys. So now 2022 rolls around to the comment two weeks ago. So right now we got 20 guys full time. That's counting me and Cindy, everybody. That's, and the reason that number is my magic number is because there's 16 snow routes. And you, that's a different topic. Not everybody thinks that we plow snow the best way, but there's 16 mm -hmm. snow routes. Two, two and mechanics. And to be fair, some of that's contracted too. Yep. Uh, <coughs> 16 snow routes, two, so that's 16 guys, two mechanics right now, two office, Cindy and me, and two foremen. Now, add that up quick, it comes up to more than 20, right? I got the two weed guys. If those two specific weed guys change someday, and the guys that replace them aren't as skilled in what we need to do with the highway department, then may have to add another guy. Maintenance started doing the, the snow removal at the courthouse 15 years ago. But you know what that did? Right away, one less guy we gotta have because I don't have to have that cover to send a guy down here. You farmed it out to a local contractor. I've never looked at the money money, but I would assume it's, if there's a difference, it's not much between us doing it and mm -hmm. the contractor doing it. So, you know, other departments have also helped make it so we can cut the numbers at the highway department. The other thing is I'm backwards of all the other departments. That's the only thing I have that's flexible is personnel, whereas in, say, Kathy's office, that's all she's got. She doesn't have anything that's flexible. But the number of roads isn't changing. And how much it's going to cost to fix them, let's just be really stupid and say it'll stay the same. So the only other thing I can ever change is personnel if you're going to try to cut money mm -hmm. or equipment but you can do equipment for so long and even conservative Mr. Fiker over there will tell me that after a while you got to spend money or you're you just got a bunch of crap and it gets really expensive so I'm going in a weird circle here but my point is today we I'm fine I'm exactly where I want to be if we have a flood if we have a 96 97 winter if we have this if the aliens freaking land here Guatemala invades us whatever we may have to change you know how we have it mm -hmm. but the only reason that I wanted to make a comment about this is it's not fair to the two guys that I told them that I'm not going to hire right now because we had another long-term medical thing that resolved itself and you know um, a couple other things I want to throw in here 
uh, since you, you guys said I could talk, whether you listened or not, it's up to you. Well, well if I can interrupt you a second, yeah. too, you know, you and I both have been around, so has Dennis, you know, quite a while. And, you know, the, the situation's changed, gotten better, if you will, and it's management decisions and so forth, getting more efficient, got better equipment that's, mm -hmm. you know, we'll run it past warranty, but we're still pretty good. You're very good about making sure, you know, that equipment is going to be reliable. If not, we're going to surplus it. We're going to find a, a, a rotation on a three, four, five-year basis to look forward enough to put it into the program to replace it. Uh, you know, in the summertime, we've gone to trains, multiple you know, yep. trailers on trucks, uh, working tens instead of, you know, eights. And so you get one less round, but you get twice as much material for every round that you make. So you yep. know, the level of efficiency has gotten much better all the way around. Reliability of equipment uh, and, and efficiency and stuff. And that, that plays into this as well. And, and yep. I want to recognize that. So and, and I appreciate that. That's that's the goal. I mean, you want I want to figure out so we can just have the fewest. You know, it, it, having people around in the winter is tough. Yep. It's tough. A um, couple more things about this mic, and then I'll, m I'll move on. No, you're fine. Um, so I did a little research. The other thing that's happened is I don't know if you guys are up to speed on the CDL changes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make what's a really risky statement. I've never had a trouble. We've yeah. never had trouble, and I should say it, speak in absolutes. Rarely have we had trouble finding a CDL person, and I can only recall hiring one guy that just absolutely did not have a CDL, and he we just hired him. He's a 20-year blade guy, and he's since got his CDL. Um, some of the other counties are going through a whole bunch of gyrations right now to set up new policies and stuff on how they're either going to reimburse a, an employee that comes and needs to go through the whole process, and the jury's still out a little bit, no pun intended, on the... On the uh, process and the cost right mm -hmm. now the cost I mean you guys are this <coughs> in a complete oh yeah you, I mean you know about this topic a bit. okay so maybe I'm sticking my head in the sand it isn't something I'm totally worried about right now in the future if we run into that situation where we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna get guys trained uh, Minnehaha County or not the West one Pennington County right now is doing uh, they've got a pretty specific uh, plan they're trying and my point is a bunch of counties are coming up with some different ideas on how to address that so I think if we just hang out for a while because I don't see it being an immediate problem then we can just see what, what these other counties have done that work some are talking with the reimbursement program for the employee others are just paying it up front uh, I don't want to be this way but I, I've sat and watched my old man train people at the state school for 25 years and as soon as they were certified away they went to work somewhere else so you know, I, I don't want the county to become a full tech for training truck drivers mm -hmm. either. So, but right now, <coughs> that's where I'm at with that. Um, like I said, I hope I'm not being naive, but I don't. I have no history to tell me that it's going to be a problem. Yeah. Well, it's something we need to be concerned about. Be aware it, of. It changed it. The, the requirements for it. It's got a heavy, heavy educational and expensive yeah. educational front end to it. Um, and there's there's some different ways we can look into if it becomes a problem so anyway we're talking about the CDL thing and then that rolls into personnel and so uh, just for a couple points of reference Beetle County took right now has 18 people counted the same way that I say we have 20 you know we have 20 plus two we guys right now they have 18 people that have one full-time mechanic all the time one he just wrenches on stuff Minnehaha is 35 units. Yeah, I don't want to give you their people because they are so heavy in the office that it's kind of a distortion. But they have about 35 units. They have two full-time mechanics and then one half FTE uh, parts guy and a half FTE of uh, like a tech. Mm -hmm. So that's, I mean, we're, we're over. And then you got Brookings, 21 employees, almost identical to us, which I would also add, look at a map, our county's twice as big as these folks, but whatever. They have two full-time mechanics. And he says, with two, I'm short sometimes, and I'm long sometimes with two. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Uh, the other thing is, go swing a two-mile arc around the highway shop and see how many places you hit where you can get something fixed. Hey, I, I mean, I... I've I really struggle with that. RDO is a mile and a half from our shop. Well, well the, the, other th are. the other thing is there's so much of the equipment now that's so technical that you've got to have specialized computer equipment to hook yeah. onto it. We don't have any of that. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just well. Every time you buy a new payloader, you got another computer. No, you do, and yeah. and 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 but the, you're absolutely right. Your mechanics are going to be more of packing bearings and working tires and new brakes Welding and change and, and change freaking hoses and pump or uh, things like that. Cutting edges and so anyway, blah blah blah. So. Not a shot at at Elisa, but the, I didn't like how that read in the paper because we're not desperately. I mean, I that reflects on me poorly, in my opinion, that your operation is desperately in need of something. Well, no, you should have some ideas on how you work around that. You should never get to the point of desperation, or you're not managing it right. I guess. Well, first time we had the comment, have you asked him if he? Yeah, I I'm, I said, well, where are you getting your information? You know. Well, it kind of goes back to what I'm saying. People have it in their head that we need four mechanics. I don't think we do. And maybe I'm wrong, and if any of them are listening, I'll probably get yelled at later today, but whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's my little spiel about that. So despite whatever else is going on, I'm, I'm good right now. We have an impending retirement that's been planned for about 43 years coming up. <laughs> and... and uh, I resemble that. that. <laughs> we'll, uh, we're going to we'll advertise and normal, fill that, and, but I'm I'm fairly comfortable until we have some major paradigm shift in something with the way we are. So, Your position for the retirement, is that going to be within, or do you have anybody that's capable of... No. No, we don't. There's only two, there's really only two steps up at the highway department, really, where you would fill them from within, and that would be the two foremen. Now, I'm just, this is me, okay? That that would be the two foremen and the Kendall and John. If I had to replace Kendall and John with guys, I already know which guys. I mean, I know the guys off the crew that would be able to do that. This is no. This will be we'll be trading in a 43 year guy for a guy that'll probably have two years of experience. And but that's not new. I mean, he's looking for some place to go that way he doesn't get laid off in the winter time and he can have. Yep. 12 months a year kind of a thing. Yep. Exactly. So. Exactly. There's sort of a but you plan for that? There's a certain, there's a certain uh, <coughs> pool. Well, a person or a type of person that that would work at the county, uh, where you put more value in having some benefits and a comfortable workplace rather than just pure pure mm -hmm. cash, you know. And uh, like I say, no one's no one's working at the county to make mm -hmm. to be a millionaire. I don't. Yeah. Wrong business. I'd be in farming. Then. Yeah. But uh, your, your point is, your point is, you got to be a highway to be Yeah, currently, right now, and and I've never had any trouble with anybody being flexible about if I want to add or take people away. That's never been a thing. I wouldn't even be in here if the if the comments hadn't been in the paper because mm -hmm. I I just don't like that. I, I don't like how it sounds and maybe somehow I do eat here from you. Well, I just did. I can't help myself sometimes. I don't. Uh, department <laughs> update: We're still we're still stockpiling some gravel up at Heckler, although it's coming out in chunks about this big <laughs> right now. But we're getting it moved closer. There's moisture in it. Yeah. And uh, other than that, uh, just kind of doing. I haven't been up to to uh, Elm to tell you the status of that, but they were pouring a lot of concrete, so I don't think. And mm -hmm. they don't seem to have any worry whatsoever about a quick melt and with all the snow that's out up there. No. Nope. Whether it could cause any trouble. No. I don't think they're going to get any, you know, they got it locked down pretty good. The only moisture they're going to get on the downstream side of the road really is what runs off the road. They got, you no, know, they got that for the dam room. itself for filling the lake. Oh, oh okay. filling. well, they, they, they've got that berm Yeah, they've there. got a pretty good berm there. Yeah. But, well, and it's, the intent is that if it does come over, it's got to go off the emergency spillway yeah. until they're done there. Yep. Have they ever filled that hole? On the I haven't area? been down in there, but they yeah. worked on it. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, they hold a bunch of rock over there. <laughs> they did it the way the people that have money do it versus the way the county does stuff. <laughs> I tell you what, I couldn't believe that, but uh, they, they did uh, all good rock and, and good materials. Yeah. and They could have hauled all the broke up concrete yeah. over there too. Yeah. And they hauled it all out of there. Yeah, and then hauled new rock back in. And I, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. That's, they're building a dam. It's not a county road. I just keep telling myself. So, uh, but yeah, the other night we're just doing regular stuff. We'll start uh, crushing here in a little bit. We have to get the crusher out of North Dakota before load limits go on. Oh yeah, load limits. Uh, not obviously not this week, and I don't think next week. Now the temps this week, just in the last three hours before I came in here, 
started going down again. It was going to be about 10 degrees warmer. The top doesn't matter as much as the low. When the low starts getting close to 30, then. But you know, about six weeks ago, the road started going to hell, and I thought we were going to have a, a deal, and then it kind of quit. So I wish the frost would start going out. Holy crap! Is there water center out? Yeah, there's a oh, man. So uh, imagine if we get some snow. I would imagine it won't be next week, but if our you know, neighbors to the north got some snow. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how bad the river's going to be. I think just close to the channel is going to be an issue for a it's little usual. while. It's Kind of what we call normal. Yeah. Well, <laughs> about average. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm sorry. I hate, average. I hate, I hate that word normal. I know. <laughs> There's no such thing. All right, everybody good? Anything else? We're good. So remind I'm us. Good. While you're here. Sure. Any big projects this year? I, I need to be reminded. Bridges or anything like that? Um, Tax your memory here a little bit. Yeah. The other reason I ask is because this, the State Department of Revenue, uh, some testimony was pretty proud of themselves that they sprinkled seven million dollars to all the counties for and townships for bridges. Is that for the infrastructure, the rural infrastructure? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty proud of themselves. So we we gave all the counties and townships seven million dollars last year. Um, I don't Friend know. A little thin. But yeah, and I kind of made the comment in the township meeting that uh, Brown County had been pretty good to the townships and pretty helped pretty good. Kind of got a little spanking for it. Yeah. Backlash for it. They uh, showed their appreciation. <laughs> the, the township, it's unfortunate because the townships are actually going to be worse off in Brown County as far as getting the project executed. Right. Because we used to be, all right, good, whatever, we'll take care of it and get on with our lives. That's another bad habit I have. <laughs> Get it done and get on with our lives. Well, um, well, so I, I am working on a newer map for you. This bridge at Sand Lake should go. I've got the right away on one side and we're working on one other one. Okay. Now this bridge just got these these okay, these are big both big bridges. Right. One's off system, yep. one's on system. So this one we have to do a lot more stuff. Clark Engineering will do most of it or I make. But we just got the letting approval for that. So as soon as I get the right away for that, which hopefully will be in the next couple weeks, this one's ready to go to bid. So this one might even leapfrog. Okay. So as far as like big projects and pure cash, that one will be a million. That one's a cheaper one because we already paid for the design. So I'd have to double check, but that might be 80% or 20% of them, like right. a million or we something. Got, we got money into it oh, yeah, to get ready. Yeah. And, and that's how we bought the points this time, right? Instead of yep. this one, where now we have to come up with a million dollars. Um, so those two, the dam will get finished. After they're done with the dam, this road's going to get put back together. And the first things we're going to do is start. We got a little bit of touch up down here, but then this will get that microsurfacing. Yep. It'll be all the way from Warner to Fernie. Um, There's some good lot information about that at the conference. What's that? They have some good information about that at the conference. About microsurfacing. Um, a little bit. Wasn't that a topic? But it was. I wasn't there the first day. Okay. Just curious. You can call John and ask him. But yeah, no. The actually the conference was good. really good. They moved away from the technical and way more practical. And the, the, they used to try to target a lot of people so that the engineering people could get their CAHs, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh. I'm like, you guys can go online and do that. There's a lot more places for you guys to get that information than there is for county road crews to get asphalt. Right. So let's do like practical things yeah. that help us. So, well, um, you were, sorry to interrupt. Well, you were talking about the Elm. Where are we at on uh, West Access for? That not real good. Okay. It's not. It's not. It's not like it's dead or anything. Um, the Just curious because I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> No, surprisingly, I'm getting a lot of, well, not surprisingly, but I'm getting lots of comments about that. Sure. The, we're getting a, uh, I'm not, I didn't ask for a full set of plans, but we need two grade lines. You need the existing, you know, this is what's up there, and then I need them to figure out this is what we're going to build, mm -hmm. and then get some stakes, and so I'm going to do that first. <coughs> Excuse me. I was a little short-sighted because I didn't bid any equipment this year. Okay. Normally I would have bid all the equipment and then I would just get some stakes punched in up there and use the equipment bids. Yep. So I got to 
actually my biggest hang up with it is the right away and the uh, how we're you know mm -hmm. how we're gonna legally yeah. build it. Well and isn't the state funding some of that? All of it. Well can you just let bids and let Jacobs co contract with Jacobs to go out and build it? Yeah, we could we or can mark bids. Right. Yep. But the when I started talking about it, see, you got it. There's two things. If we're going to use our, which we don't have right now, but if we were going to use our equipment bids, mm -hmm. then I can go out and punch some stakes in there myself, mm -hmm. and pull some tape, and figure out enough stuff that these guys can go build it. Mm -hmm. When we go to bid, we got to have a little more than that. We got to actually have a you set of plans that I can hand because he won't be a little bitter. Well, uh, <laughs> but if the state, yeah. <laughs> but if the state is paying for it, right? Yeah. But if you're doing it, it's kind of a design build. You go out there and you you start, yep. you know. But no, it's not going to. It's just two different ways of going about doing it. Right. And no. And and you're right. That's probably where we're going to end up. But I have to. The, my my comment is, there's a difference between me just hiring somebody for an hour and I can walk out there with them and go here, just rip right. this out until we get to there, yeah. or if we're going to actually go to bids and do it all. <laughs> All right and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I gotta have type it a bunch of money on the front end for plans, and, and you gotta deviate from them anyway. Right. Sorry, um, I opened that up. <laughs> no, that's so. No, it's all. But you're working on it. Yep, I'm working yeah. on it. Um, uh, the we got the stuff to the state for the guardrail at the West Bridge. Okay. Um, just trying to think. Of, we're gonna do some paving up north of Claremont. Pretty good chunk. And. There's another five in that. Oh yeah, this. I have no idea what we're gonna do yet up up west of Hecla. I don't know if you guys are up here. Boy, they got snow up here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're in every place north of there. So I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff, but uh, okay. Well, I was just curious. And well, we're throwing everything on the table. Any progress on the crossing at Concord? Yep. That's uh, again. I can't tell you what the dates are. But it's in their hands, but we continue. I think there's a scheduled meeting out okay. there. That one's gonna get that one's gonna get done and the one at uh, this year. Okay. And the one at uh I point the wrong way again. Uh the new one up there in fourteen. Yeah. That one's supposed to get done this year too. Okay. Anything at all in the summit pipeline? Nope. Not a word. Nope. I, I went and looked at the, you know, our one conversation here last time. I looked at the, uh, I tried to find a closer map, you know, because the, the other pipeline comes down about right here mm -hmm. and then does this. Yep. And I did find something where they were kind of like in this neighborhood. Right. Yep. So as far as how they, I don't know what they're doing up here. It'll depend if they cut through here, but it would be these, it would be road six. Road two and the county line. And boy, when you get down here, I'm really trying to figure out where you're gonna put a pipeline. You know, this slough runs from Northville oh, yeah. up to the mall. Right. So I yeah. I'm really curious on how that's gonna play out. But well they they change that route <laughs> about every other day. And it's a different little different angle and a little here yeah. or there. It's <clears throat> changes pretty fast. Trying to figure out the logistics plus get right away. Uh, and uh, Scott Bader had a couple questions for me if we did anything special because I know he was working on some ordinances for him. You know, we I, I guess when we cut through the road, like on a uh, waterer mm -hmm. or or a discharge for uh, drain tile or something, we make them jacketed it so it's I mean that way you don't have a water leak right underneath the road. I said, yeah, go ahead and do it, but I. You know, my knowledge of carbon dioxide, if you're not in a confined area, um, you should be okay. Or immediate proximity. Right, or right next to it. But it depends upon what, what volume is in the pipe and what pressure yeah. and distance are, is in the shutoffs. Well, that's the other thing is I would like to know the pressure that the mm -hmm. pipeline runs at and the temperature it runs at. I still haven't rectified that in my brain yet because CO2 has to be really freaking cold to be liquid. So you said 40 to 80 below. Okay, that makes, makes sense. And mm -hmm. then pressure 2100 plus. Okay. Huh. 
Have there been, has, is there a date set for publication of the ordinance change? Uh, Which ordinance change? The one for the height, for the depth and... We, last week we approved some stuff um, for Title IV changes, and I believe it's regarding the pipeline. Yeah. Yeah. So those are being published actually tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. There's another set coming next so week. Those are right. those already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that sounds good. All right, well, are we good? It ran over. <laughs> Sorry to hold everybody else my, up. My fault. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, we appreciate the update. Yeah, no, anytime. Oh, uh, next week I will be at some league tournament, okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but cool. I'll be available. Okay. Just call me if something comes up. All right. Stay safe. Oh, yeah. All right, good. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. You Thank have you. a beautiful day. Have a good one. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right, other item on the agenda. Approval of general meeting minutes from February 22nd. Entertain a motion? Move. Second. A motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Claims of payroll. Entertain a motion? Move. Second. A motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Do you have something for one of these items? or oh. Just waiting to see if you're going to ask me any questions. Mobile homes? I'm collectible mobile, mobile homes. Yep. Okay. We'll blow through the rest of this and then we'll have that discussion. Okay. Uh, HR report, entertain a motion? Move. Second. A motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Say sign. Motion carries. <laughs> Uh, we'll come back to mobile homes with the other ones out of the way. Auditor's report of accounts. Entertain Move. a motion. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Both same sign. Motion carries. Leases. Move. Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Both same sign. Motion carries. And we'll go back to uncollected mobile homes. Thank you for being with us this morning. <laughs> You're very welcome. So I didn't know if anybody had any questions. This is just kind of a cleanup list. I think the last time we had reported this was in 19. So I thought I'm just going to reiterate on some of that. Mm -hmm. So tell us what the process is. The loans are a little different than real property. How you collect them. We have taken these to the sheriff's office. They have tried to collect. There's nothing to take, nothing worthy of taking. <laughs> you visited one. And so we don't have to make any further attempts to collect any money unless these would sell or if somebody needs to move them. A lot of them, I foresee the city condemns them and then the parks have to get rid of them. So it's just nothing new. We've always done this, but no, I just want to clean it up. The parks have to be the. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. mm -hmm. You know, and if we take one. We can try to sell it at an auction, but if we don't sell it, then we're stuck with it. If we have to move yeah. it, destroy it, whatever, it's going to cost us money. So. Yeah, they're essentially abandoned. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So most of them eventually go away. Yeah. I, said, I just want to clean up the list. Go, and the all, yeah. So are these a file then, as far as a lien? No. They're not. If they ever go to do something, it's still going to be on there. They can't move it or transfer a title to it until they would pay the taxes, but we don't have to make further efforts to collect it. Okay, got it. So minimizes some of our expenses. Mm -hmm. Our mm -hmm. sweet blood of a turn yep. so. Yeah, exactly. So. Okay, any more questions? So okay. you need to make a motion that we're gonna put all these on the list and we're good to go then. Okay, entertain a motion. Move. Motion. Second. And a second. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All the same sign, motion carries. Anything else for the good of the order? Any comments from the public? Thank you for being with us this morning. Good. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. I don't believe we need an exec this morning. Motion to adjourn. One other quick thing. Yes, sir. Um, Kelsey from over in GDC had sent that letter out to uh, what, the uh, 198, and I think she's been communicating with uh, legislators. the legislators. The Senate, uh, they passed it. And uh, so now it's over in the House. I mean, the House committee, either this morning, the 198 is a bill that would basically gut out what uh, JDC is doing on a county level and make it a lot more, well, probably actually 
Yeah. Ross can probably talk to it a lot better than I can, yeah. probably. Not really. I don't, I don't deal with the, the yeah. digital stuff. But anyway, Kelsey's really concerned about uh, what it'll do in respect to um, how the uh, feds uh, work with their grants and that. So hopefully um, the House will put a thumb on it mm -hmm. stop it and let, let the counties alone. So that was, that was a little bit of a if I read that right, does that mean that the alternative spots for these kids probably would go away and they would have less opportunity to determine what's going to happen with them. And I think it gives the judges more authority to give them longer sentences and what when <coughs> JDC uh, would have to hold them, could potentially have to hold them longer it and restrict them. The it looked like to me that we could be housing more juveniles instead of looking for an alternative source for it, just by what I was reading. Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand at all, but it looked to me like the county could be having more liability or more cost involved if this thing would go through. And there'd probably be, there'd be more detention. And more detention, exactly. All right. Be more, which we don't have room for. Right. Exactly. So, okay. anyway, just kind of a heads up on that. Thank you. Um, last public Cracker Barrel this Saturday at Northern from 10 to 12. So other than that, we have a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion to second. We are adjourned. Thanks, everyone.